And now it's time for the second segment of investigations <laughs> on um, Farewell My Turnabout. And now this dying. is where we're well, going Jeremy, to get to you like this case so much you had a hard time remembering its name. Yeah. Well, it's technically Pedro likes more. I mean, like, well, it's not necessarily my favorite of all. I mean, I do regard it as definitely one of the best. At least but... I have an excuse. I'm uh, I'm an old man. I'm losing my memory. You're just uh, you're, you're still a young. <laughs> I'm a new. Uh, remember, you're the I'm a new. of us old, Jova. So remember, how I'm. Can you be senile at the age of nineteen? I'm not senile. I just stuttered when I said it. Anywho, <clears throat> it's time to get I mean, down to business. It, it, by the way, it's not even just me. Even my mom tells me that I'm well, very senile because I tomorrow. constantly forget shit. <laughs> well, the trial is tomorrow, and we only get this that, one that chance. That or that's a lack in your deficit. That's the one way to deficit. prove his innocence. Plea to the judge, get me not guilty, please. We my have to find danger. Well, there's also <laughs> another option. We could always bring back the jury system. No. <laughs> yeah, why did they take the jury system away anyway? Um, Maybe the greatest attorney will explain that. Um, yeah, but why did they take it away from the end of Apollo Justice anyway? And why? And what was it, the whole dark because, age of the because, shit in the fifth be, game? Because that's Apollo Justice. Apollo Justice is the fucking no, mess. no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Allow me to explain. Actually, Dreams it apparently is still in the court. But like, well, we just don't have or have trials until destinies that involve a jury. It's sort of a random. Then what thing. was the point of having it at the end of Apollo Justice? Then I'm guessing. The dark okay. age of the law shit came out of freaking nowhere. What was the point of dark, dark age of the shit? Uh, actually, actually no, no Dwibs, the, the, the Dark, dark Age was well established was... Uh, in Apollo Justice, and uh, it was then finished in, um, Dual Destinies. Yeah. I don't remember them mentioning what. They, they did mention it's that. Kind of, well, they didn't exactly kind of call the it the Dark Age of the Law, but they did pretty much sum it up. Anywho, uh, let's focus on this turnabout for now. Yes. Um, you know, that's not entirely... I have no. I was a huge fan of ones. Yeah, I forgot just about like Jackhammer. Oh, oh, why do all the stars I'm interested in drop by one like flies? Oh God! Oh God! You know what this realize? You know what this means, guys? If she takes an interest in Christopher Miller, we may have to look for a new voice actor for later. Actually, 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 Jova, forget that. What, what about Edra? Why is Edra still alive? True. He's immune to her, I guess. Well, what if she got interested in Troy Baker or Johnny Depp? <laughs> Who's or interested Liam in Johnny Depp that much anymore? Though? Yeah. Oh, people still. Well, when apparently. Was the... When was the last time he was in a good movie? Into uh, the Hearts. Woods. And, and, and his most recent one, Mordecai, was a big bomb. Apparently, Hearts Into Hearts the Woods was Hearts pretty Hearts popular. Hearts. Has anyone here actually seen Mordecai? I haven't. No. I, I don't think anybody even gives a shit about that movie. Anywho. Maybe Old Bag should take interest in stars that no one likes. Miss Old Bag, so could you William please Hurt. speak a little slower? <laughs> don't pass me around, you spiky haired smarty pants. Um. <laughs> thanks? <laughs> Who are you, Jeremy Irons? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, Old bag is Jeremy Irons. Yeah, so for now on, that's my head cannon. That sound is just uh, basically it, it's, uh, it's Jeremy, Jeremy Irons. Irons God. Yes, it, it does the Dungeons and Dragons thing. <laughs> the Jeremy Irons gun. <laughs> uh, she's clamming up just like the old clamp she is. Uh, uh, clamp is weak and silly. Well, mine is strong. I love, I love Wait, this I comedy right after the image reading. I love this comedy right after your friends been kidnapped and their life's been threatened and shit. Yeah, kinda. Mood killer. It's, it's called bad facing, don't worry. <laughs> no, it's mood killing. Measurements? Oh. Um, no, that's okay, really. I mean, what? I mean, what measurements? Like, the one centimeter that's actually there? She really doesn't like you, does she, Mr. Nick? <laughs> Gee, you <laughs> think? <laughs> I know, I know. Uh, what, gave you that idea? what gave you that idea, Pearls? <laughs> so let's talk to her. Why? Because we have to I get information out of her. Go in the dreadful murder. <laughs> and I only recently did a fun, fun star that makes my star go puto again. So if you don't it's... see a star, you're dead? Does that when... mean she's a vampire? I don't when know what you to say. wish on a star. Why does every star always end up kicking the bucket? You're cursing them, that's why. 
Yeah, pretty much. Oh my god, Phoenix, um, run! I want your words. No one's going to get away with saying anything bad about my wine! In that case, <laughs> stay away from Leonardo DiCaprio, please. Until he wins an Oscar or something. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yes, Bandy by the time he gets an Oscar, Bandy then will his life. Like... I'm to die. Oh, yes. I'm, I'm sorry, I did I, I, it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Huh? I'm still miffed. What I'm woman? Still very, I'm still very miffed about the Capri not winning his Oscar, an Oscar for uh, his Wolf performance in Django Unchained. Oh, the irritating backwater girl with the afro and the horrible country accent. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. my country accent is shit. Yes. I mean, what is that manner of speaking supposed to be? And why does she never stop? I'm actually uh, agreeing with all yeah, that. Yeah, the crowd, the crowd telling the story is black. Honesty, women these days. Oh no, fuck it. Yeah. But just, but despite this, the press pass, the red stars, we're being put on so. Pearls, are you thirsty? Um, a little. Let's go. Quick, okay, go. I'll go get you some juice or something. You're leaving Pearl there with her. Of beer. Well, she's a very good listener. Hey, are you paying attention, young ones, today? So I'm guessing Miss Oldbag heard everything about from Lada. Oh boy. So let's see, we have Oldbag with the misinformation given from Lada Heart. She looks like she's about to have a heart combination. attack. Yep. <laughs> I want no, to ask like you that. about what happened Basically, around the time of the murder. Uh, was that very good, a very good idea bringing back probably some of the most annoying characters from the first game in one single case? Nonetheless. Hey, are, you do know they're actually popular to you. Yeah. Old Bag is popular. I, mean, yeah. I can understand Lotta to some degree, but Old Bag. It's because of her gimmick with the whole speak fast, text last thing. Yeah. Ugh. I like. I actually kind of like Old Bag better than Lada, honestly. I don't know. I think she. I think she's a, a, a much more interesting character, if you ask me. Cue uh, mysterious I, I music from the magical press uh, conference. Uh, <laughs> granted, no. Uh, granted, uh, practically none of the characters from Turn About Samurai was actually uh, good, but whatever. Hey, Tia, look at it like this, Side though. Powers. Okay, I have to give credit. Powers was actually okay, but it was the defendant. Hey, Tia, look at it like this, though. You want to know one character who annoyed you that's not here? Uh, Mo, I'm talking about the first game, no, not I'm... the second one. I, I meant Larry. Yeah, Larry. Okay. Oh, yeah, that. But Larry, but Larry, but Larry's one of the best characters. Uh. Uh, oh, he's yeah. definitely one of the best. True. You the the most important the moment. Girlfriend. You don't mean... Oh, so now you took me with respect, you disrespectful child. <laughs> Don't worry, Pedro, I agree. You worry is definitely one of the best. I'm just saying Tio finds him annoying. When you speak to your elders, this is always a blight. Really, kids today. Well, um, Tio's pretty easily offended from what I can gather. Yeah. Please tell me, what did you see? Tell the oh, truth! Boy. What did you see? Jesus. What the oh. fuck? The murder last time was gruesome, wasn't it? But then, what murder isn't? One, two, um, a shot to the four. head, and it's pretty clean. Shot to the heart! And you please don't, please don't stray head. onto another tangent! You give love please. a bad day! <laughs> Great, four cyclocks! This should you know, be it's easy! Interesting. I mean, we, we've gone through the entire game, and do we ever come across anyone with a black cyclock at all? Not in this game. Uh, that's no, not Soul Hollow Justice. Okay. Black Cyclops are different. Uh, <laughs> oh no, I know how they work. I'm surprised that we've been able to do that. You probably already them. asked me uh, how do they work, but repeat me just in case. Because I haven't played Hollow Justice yet. Okay, so. okay, 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 okay. Well, actually, too, we find out how to unlock them in uh, the fifth game, but okay, basically, Black Cyclops are unlockable by traditional means. The way you unlock them is by revealing the truth to the person. See, the thing with Black Cyclops is that it's either that they're extremely kept by a hard will person or by someone who doesn't know the secret themselves. Mm -hmm. So oh, usually how it can takes. You know a secret without. No. What the and... hell? It's like a, it's like a... Let's 
Right. It, it depends. Like, for example, imagine imagine if you're given a password and you don't know what it is, but then you find out that that password is the password to a nuclear missile silo or some shit like that. Oh, you have a, okay. You have a super dangerous secret that uh, that a lot of terrorists will want to know, but you don't even know it's that. That's exactly. the kind of secret Joe was talking about. Oh, exactly. Okay. I kind of like that thing moved. Anyway, looks like the investigation is still in full swing. There's no one the there. The hotel staff and the police are running around <laughs> like a bunch of headless chickens. Hasn't this They're all invisible! Like two days? <laughs> oh, traits. I wonder if we can do any investigating of, of our own in this kind of atmosphere. Uh, wait for free games. Uh, and you're not even. And Phoenix will not even be the main character there. Free games? Don't you mean two? Uh. There's also Apollo Just. Oh yeah, you mean yeah. I'm sorry, counted. <laughs> well, well, technically, Duel doesn't exist. Free yeah, main character. Yeah, but yeah, yeah well, that's, but that's Phoenix right. Apollo uh, and the investigations yeah. game, game came. First. I mean, yeah, you, I mean, oh, yeah, you can, oh, you were talking about the investigations game. You're here. Though. You can say that there's a. You can say that Apollo and the Phoenix have more focus than Phoenix does, but there's very good reasons for that. First of all, I never really Fina got that. I just found that they had equal. I actually was talking game. about the investigations games. Oh, okay. oh, okay, okay, okay. It's the cop fella. <laughs> what? what? You're the thief. Get... Arrest him. Uh, Arrest him. Lord, this child. is not the Elder Scrolls. You cannot do penalty. that. Uh, a what Arrest now? <laughs> Objection. Sorry, Lotta. We cannot do that yet. Uh, thank you, Layton. I said yet. What's wrong, Lotta? Are you feeling all right? <laughs> Looky, he um, looky here and there, and up and down and the, the mountain and, up and down all and around. around, all around. <laughs> um, what are you looking for? My character, I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> My art. Oh. My camera. C A M E R A. Well, at least Lana can smell better that's than Maya. That's Bell's camera. <laughs> yes, it does. It's my lifeblood. I'm gonna die without my $700, Jesus Christ, camera. <laughs> Believe it or not, Shiro, there's actually cameras that go up until $2,000. Yes, $2, yes $2. even more. Yeah. Bloody hell. Look, don't a lot of people say that the criminal always goes back to the scene of the crime? Returning to the scene of the crime is never... And looky, looky, here either. you are. <laughs> hey, actually, that sounds like a good voice you could use for Sherlock Holmes. I was trying to do the um, narrator off King's Quest. The ah. I I actually, I actually, I actually <laughs> <not>. Phoenix, <laughs> I'm gonna punch you. Oh boy, <laughs> a <laughs> lot <laughs> of trouble. Huh? Lotta, uh, go, Lotta, go to the bad joke jail. Yeah. yeah My fingers should be cut. Now that I think about it, she isn't really old today, is she? Again, um, she wouldn't. Uh, we tried to get her back after a contract dispute. Wait, and she's a spunky one. True. You couldn't have letting her out of your sight. Yes, they were. Who knows what she's up to? Uh, oh yeah, totally. Uh, she's <laughs> up to her ears in trouble. Like you're one to talk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Poor Pearl. This kind of hairstyle is pretty hard to get, you know. Had to cur had to care for it too. Please. Yeah. So, so question: If that's the case, how come you made it even more hard to keep in uh, when you went to Atlas? <laughs> yeah, you grew it out. Yeah. <laughs> Just the other day. And suddenly, out pops this dollar coin. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly, out pops this dollar coin. It's gotta be like hitting the jackpot. She has stuff One in her dollar. hair. Wow, that's really lucky. Um, uh, sure. Um, you know, what if I reached behind Pearl's ear and pulled out a check for a million dollars or something? <laughs> well, then hot diggity, we're going to Disney World. Yay! Yay! Yay. I don't really care for them heroes or whatnot. Hmm. Well, Spider-Man's cool. Oh, I see. And shows they got for kids? Those adventures are just plain old boring. Ouch. Uh, really? Depends. Uh, arguable. Now, adults, 
we get more caught up in messy, sticky, real situations. But they're bored uh, to watch. Which... So wait a minute. Uh, you know what? Forget. No, forget. It. <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, that, that, that's, that's a good idea. <laughs> Just stop talking. Well, to now. be fair, Paige, it is the Ace Attorney universe. Uh, I know. Oh, it's just... the even pearls frightened. Sounds like the types getting what I'm going with this. Oh boy, God is starting to rub off on the pearl. Right, take pearl out of the room. Wait a sec! Don't go around getting her mixed up in things like that. <laughs> the um, game is again, not like itself. Are we it? supposed to be doing something really urgent right now? Yeah. Uh, uh, but the, but the webs, the happy people theme is playing. Uh, Therefore, exactly. Uh, oh goody. This old granny. Ah, she kept on glaring at me like those eyes of hers. I <laughs> can't hear mind. you, you know. Wow, surprisingly <laughs> good hearing. <laughs> yeah, babbling how she won't forgive people who write trash about her. John, Juan, 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 Juan. 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 Ah, yeah, we sort of got into a little fight, you know. Dang it! We missed out on a cat fight! Do you mean a cat versus a lioness fight? I guess. Which yeah. Which? yeah. Well, it's a cat and a cougar, more like. A little oh. fight. Knowing these two, <laughs> it was probably more of a blabbering contest. Hey, that, that would actually be interesting. A blabbering contest between Lotta Hart and Bondi Oldbag. Do you mean security lady? Yeah, but... Um. Oh. <laughs> Once yeah. again, Phoenix got voiced by a girl. <laughs> I told you how many times now? I'm a journalist. Well, I thought you were... Ugh. I'm a doctor. I've got so much info running laps in my head, I forget things here and there. Are you really <laughs> sure about that? Oh, wait till we get Please to investigations. Please don't get so worked up over this. Wait till we get to investigations, too, where Lana will become an official ace photographer with her own no. sort of Apollo <laughs> justice. Goody. She will never be like Frank West. He's covered wars, you know. Be extra tough on yeah. kids. That's this gal's motto on learning young e youngsters. Really? Um, do you know anything? Apparently she doesn't remember to gum shoe. <laughs> oh. Ah, no just want to say sorry to you. <laughs> or... Well, I really absolutely thought you were the murderer. Yeah, the seven-year-old child is capable of murder. Well, she's well, technically Dibs, eight. If you, Dibs, if you saw the um, 20th anniversary EastEnders thingy. Yeah, not oh, to yeah, mention... I've heard, I've heard the, they, they pulled a who shot Mr. Burns on us. Yeah, yeah. and it was a child. <laughs> Well, then again, The Simpsons is a cartoon, he's then supposed to be a live-action soap, so... Well, there was The fuck. Good Son with, uh, Mercury Culkin and the movie Orphan. What? Mm. That was very insensitive of you. You all want to talk, Phoenix. Didn't, wasn't you insensitive <laughs> at one point or another? <laughs> insensitive much, to yeah. the point of accusing Pearls of murder, though? So all the things, so all the things... EastEnders could take I'm inspiration. I'm <laughs> ain't no ordinary camera. It's Don't worry. Store and it's one thousand brand new. <laughs> what? Um, one billion dollars. Oh, this is rich. I had a nice long talk with the guy at the store. About five hours, I reckon. And then I punched him in the face and gave him seven hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I made this itty bitty scratch on it, and the manager got all huffed up in the face. Jeez. Oh my god. Oh boy. Let's see how that he goes. He gave me his talking to, and was real mean about it too. Done made me cry at the Well, like you that. did scratch his camera. Yeah, his expensive camera. But when did you lose your camera? <sighs> Last <laughs> night, after the murder happened. Hmm. Must have been when I was busy. Must have been when I was busy running around looking into things. That's when I lost sight of my dear darling, it's expensive sweetie. 
Lada. Alrighty. What, what did you capture with that expensive camera of yours? I don't rightly know. I snapped a shot of anything that caught my eye. Truly. So, I don't remember. And besides, I couldn't get anything from my big scoop. I wonder if Lada's missing camera is even connected to the murder. Well, considering the fact that the text showed up in orange, I'm guessing it is. So I'll add it to the court record. Even though it's not there. We it's drew a picture, a picture of, of the camp. <laughs> yeah. Lada, please tell me what you know about what happened at the time of the murder. Why? Uh, well... Yeah. From before the ceremony last night, I was hanging around here in this area. Maybe she was just thinking. I don't know. <laughs> very interesting, very interesting. Yeah, actually, I was here until around the time Mr. Ungod was arrested. That's important! Quick, take another of that, Layden! Okay, um, uh, do, 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 done. Thank you. Layden? What are you? What were you doing here? He's filming a documentary. And I'm filming, oh. and I'm filming the game as well. You don't hear how my camera Phoenix do. Light approaches uh, another human being. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the Phoenix right is flustered. Strong story to be found. A big scoop to be had. Ooh, a big scoop by David Attenborough. <laughs> Crikey! I told you before, I'm going to be the best tabloid photographer the world's ever seen. Next year's the, headlines. The, 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 the best there ever was. Next year's headlines. Lots of heart ridiculed for pathetic camera skills. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that means so, I'm always looking for. So the... let me get this straight. I wonder what scoop she uh, was after this time. So let me get this straight. Lada is actually related to Todd, the the main character from Pokemon Snap. Oh yes. boy. I guess so. Whoa. Hello. I well, was then again, also on to look out for other stars that we hear. Well, then again, Pedro, to be fair, we established that Misty is apparently Maya's mother. You are. Wait, what? Yeah, don't you remember? Maya's mother is named Misty. Well, so what? There are a lot of people called Misty, I guess. I was joking. Anywho. I know, but wah, it, it, wah, even in media, wah. come on. <sighs> so... You could take a picture for your big scoop. Of ice cream. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> the more obvious the joke, the more it needs to be addressed, well, I know. Maybe I was. But that's the but that's what real journalists do. Oh, hey, you should get a job at the sun then they'll be glad for you. Well you know what? I'll give a lot of this. <laughs> well I'm all Fox News. You know, I'll the give a lot of the sad the sad thing is that Phoenix is kind of a better journalist than a lot of even is because he he is He's good enough at finding information, which is something that Lada just isn't. Exactly. Not to mention the fact that I hate to say it, I'll give Lada this though, she doesn't get nearly as in trouble for her journalism as Miss Lane does. Here we go again! Oh boy. There's only two, so... Oops, sorry Miss Lar. Can't be telling you that. Trade secret, you know. Can't let you do that, Star Fox. Not again. <laughs> Why does everyone have something to hide? The only what one about you, uh, gee, you, I don't know, because we're fucking people. What about you, Phoenix? Are you hiding something? No. I mean, you know what? holy even shit, Pearl a million Cyclops. Phoenix I mean, is so even, much better. Even, even Pearl had Cyclops in the second case, and sure. you're, you're surprised. Yeah. Well, Phoenix is so much better at journalism than Lotter is. Maybe after he got fired, he should have been like her ghost journalist or something. True, not to mention the fact that he has a Magatama. He could have used that to pry information out of people. Yeah, well, that, that, yeah even though that will be a bit rude. Pretty much, yeah. Well, so, it depends. Yeah. If he's doing okay. it to like expose a corrupt business, then it would be legit. Whose room oh, should we go to pick first? Up your mind. Where are you going? Okay, sure, Roy, Another new character for you. And believe it or oh, not, yay. it's actually, and believe it or not, it's actually a smart blonde. Oh. Um. Where are we? We're in Mr. Madongard's dressing room. This is our client's room. Looks like looks like one of my Mel Gibson will be living right now. That's you, sure. Roy. May I help you with something? Uh, Shiroi, try going for a more stoic uh, voice. Yeah, stoic and now? regal. Um, uh, where... You're Mr. Ongard's lawyer, correct? 
I gathered as much. Yeah, that one's good. That works. Good. I also look for lawyers on my end, but to no avail. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, how did you so, yeah, know you him get, as a lawyer? You know what I mean, right? She's a, she's kind of a serious stoic type secretary mm -hmm. yeah. type. You were just saying that he is your client. In a situation like this, the only person who would use such a word would be his lawyer. No way. How did you get that? Well. Well, at least she has a brain, unlike some other characters I could mention. <laughs> yeah. Regina. It's simple deduction, really. Hey, yeah, it's like she's a, she's a blonde, yet she's the stark contractual ob opposite to Regina when it comes to braids. Yeah. The trial is tomorrow, and Mr. On God's situation is looking rather grim. So, so you came here one stop in your mad dash to, to find clues to build his case, right? Well, you're not totally right, but you're not totally off either. Hmm. Oh, that, that's not vague. It's really not the time to be showing off, Mr. Nick. What? I am Adrian Andrews. I hate to waste time, so let's get down to business. Oh, look, Patriot, you're kind of woman. Uh, yeah, definitely. Alright. Kind of my kind of woman as well, honestly. <laughs> she may be of small stature, but appearances can be deceiving. Oh, great, you reminded me of Matrix Revolutions. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, boy. Looks like this Stuck is like... Age of Smith. Looks like a dish is left over from dinner. A dinner for two at that. And what's the dinner, I wonder? I'm sure that Mr. On Guard and Mrs. Andrew's plates. Yeah, totally. Looks like they had T-bone steaks. What's with Global Studios and T-Bone Steaks? I went in on that meal. I don't think I've ever had a T-Bone Steak. Oh, they're wonderful. They, eat, they have better menus than you. Don't you get it, people? The, the plate, don't you get it, people? The plates were bare. I know I have no actual evidence of this, but just trust me on this one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that jacking-looking thing is called a hat. Whatever it is, I'm sure something like that will make a great souvenir. Maya would probably steal it. <laughs> Maya would be absolutely thrilled. Okay, Mr. Wright, and look at the plates. There's a giant bone sitting on the plate. Too bad that this time around there are no uh, really like bad geeks uh, that <gasps> elevate. You don't like meat? What kind of existence is that? Oh well, there's something weird about this plate. I just wish I could put my finger on what it is. Um, they didn't clean up afterwards. That's they didn't leave any there. steak left for you. Ah. There is a bed. Oh, they have really big beds here. I've always had really big boobs here. I'm so. Oh my god. <laughs> Why do you I'm always? So dirty. How do you always this steak? Oh. Dwebs, you need to get out more. <laughs> I yeah. do. <laughs> Dwebs, are you Maybe sure you Maybe that's the work? problem, actually. <laughs> uh. I asked to become Mr. Ongard's manager. Yes! He's a pleasure to manage with his nice disposition. That I am! Um, really, he comes nice. across, so? comes across as one of those kind of douchebags hmm. in disguise. This guard does seem like a rather weak-willed man. Always doing as he's told. Well, no wonder he made it to the top in Catherine, then. <laughs> he's always saying, my manager, Mr. Nick. Mm. Mm. Are you gonna choose? Um, I'd ask you about this. I mean, I'd like to ask you about this. I told you, I hate trifling man matters. Don't it's a waste of time to show me things that are of no relevance to me. Basically, don't waste my time. Wow, yeah. this is the first time I've been <laughs> shut down this badly. Huh, an Ace Attorney character who doesn't like wasting time. Again, my kind of woman. Did you know the victim, <laughs> Mr. Carita? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I knew him. 
Who did know old June Snowy? No, 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 no we don't. We, small oh, place after all. Okay. We don't mean, we don't mean June until Apollo Justice. True. True. Right. This is June's brother. Did you know about his rivalry uh, with the Nickel Samurai? It's his brother, Nudge Snowy. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, they were like children when it came to that. Time and time again, those two competed with each other over the most uninteresting things. Ah, so that's where the Civil War memes came from. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's surprisingly fitting. If either one of them weren't so stubborn, then, then maybe no one would have needed to die. So if this were real life, does that mean that Chris well, Evans... people who love each other, the world would be a happy place. Does that mean, does that mean Chris Evans is going to get murdered by Robert Downey Jr. or something? Please, dear God, no. No, actually, if it goes as far as the real Civil War, and I guess it will because I've, I've seen the casting, there will be another person who will kill Captain America. Um, yeah. Spider-Man? Uh, I'm not spoiling, Please sorry. don't remind me of Civil War. So, well, the um, comic, so anyway. Re so I bet you're really looking forward to the film, then. Well, I'm hoping that the film will handle things more smartly. I'm, I'm, I prefer waiting for the Doctor Strange movie, thank you. I'm looking forward to the Captain Marvel film. Movie. Anywho, let's get back on track. Y yes, sure. that is correct. That's crack. Then I will tell you. This is crack. <laughs> <laughs> Before the award ceremony, I had dinner with Mr. Ongard. In this very room, I might add. Mm. Oh, well, at least it beats being dinner. seen. What did you eat? Um, we uh, ate please, we ate, please, we ate if you did, if you did. Things like in nine weeks and a half, don't describe. Um, I told you, I hate to waste time with trialing details. We, we, ate, we, ate, um, we ate Mr. Carita. I mean, we ate Mr. Carita's um, steak because he's <laughs> dead. If you took a look at the table yourself, you wouldn't need to ask me. I bet she's a lot of fun at parties. Hey, and besides, I already <laughs> looked at the table. Yeah, she is my kind of woman, actually. Just um, make her at least 5'10, then there you go. <laughs> <laughs> when the award show was starting, I headed for Vi Viola Hall, is that it? Yeah, Viola Hall. Viola. Okay. And after the show ended, you came back to this very room. Now, I had some small errands to run. I see. I helped with the preparations in the lobby. By that I mean I just stood there barking orders. Yeah, pretty that, much. That will be actually accurate if I recall. Yeah. Huh. Preparations for the post ceremony, I guess. Post ceremony show. When it was time for the post ceremony show, I came back to call Mr. to call for Mr. On Guard. And then After that, I went to visit Mr. Karide. Karida. Karida. And that's when you found his body, isn't it? Must have been rather awkward. Yep. Also, what's up with the card? Are you playing triple triad? <laughs> <laughs> Is that really how you play? Really held strong for everything. I didn't know you had to uh, play triple no, 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 triad no, by flipping work, a card you. back uh, and forth. Uh, if she were playing triple try, uh, the the board would be in danger. I know. Yeah. What? No, no, I... it's a thing, Joe. Like, if I'm at the age, the world may be in danger, but will will still be people who are willing to play card games with you. Not only that, but some of them will actually demand you to pay them to play cards with you. <laughs> and don't the rules constantly change? Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Basically, the, basically, the queen of cards is a fucking bitch. That's all you need yes. to know. Oh, Don't dear. expect me to believe you have been talking to me without knowing who, without knowing how we relate. Uh, so, sorry. I have no idea why Mr. On Guard chose you as his lawyer. 
Why did she have to go and say something like that? Presented. Mr. Nick, calm down and hang in there. Uh. Calm down and carry on. I'll give you a shoulder rub to relieve the stress later, alright? Uh. Oh, nice. Such a sweet child. She's so <laughs> careful. I already gave you my name earlier, but I'll add that I'm Mr. On Guard's manager. But we're Just not that. in testimony yet. His manager. Oh, uh, uh, your name and occupation. Shit, I didn't know we were doing it this early. <laughs> no, Your Honor, not yet. Oh. No, he did not. Oh, I'm um, sorry, Your Honor. Um, I got the schedules mixed up. <laughs> he didn't. Wait, wait. You're scheduling the trial. <laughs> Yes, I'm the line producer as well. Well, Studi Studios has a very different policy from Worldwide Studios in that. You know, pro you know, Professor, your convoluted writing makes makes no Kingdom Hearts overall story seem tame by comparison. I know. Yes. You know, yes. I thought you were going to say Skip Woods. Uh, well, I I, te I tend to forget that I that see. guy exists because uh, you know defense mechanisms and shit. Thursday. Thursday. Hit man. This industry is very ruthless and unforgiving. Uh, Tell know, me about right? it. it, it... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Die it Hard is. Five sabotage. Ugh. Actually, you look quite ruthless and unforgiving yourself. To your uh, cool partner. Thank you. What? Dragging a little girl like her to places like this? Honestly. Uh, the, mind your own fucking business, please. You're wrong. Thank you. I I'm doing this to help Mystic Maya. And I hate it. Pearls, <laughs> calm down and hang in there. I'll buy you a juice later, alright? <laughs> we gotta help each other out here. Okay. So all so let's see, a few minutes spent with this woman and already she's managed to rile us. <laughs> Pretty much. Especially Pearl of all people. Yeah. As to as to why Mr. Karita was murdered. Why would you ask me about such a thing? Oh, I don't know. I'm just doing my job. So, do you have any ideas? No. Oh boy. That, I mean, just Whoa. great. Oh. oh, shit. So just in total, enters. we have ten Cyclops to deal with. Yep. yep. <laughs> Sorry, but there's nothing more I have to add to this conversation. I think she's hiding something. You yeah, think? We can tell by the Cyclops. <laughs> Is it a Cyclops, Mr. Nick? Yep, and it's a big one here. Yes, there's getting to be more and more of these lately. Well, you did introduce the mm -hmm. Magatama in this game, so... True. Very much. And it is the final case. I suppose they're going to throw everything at us. Oh, yes, yeah. they are. Everything they are in the kitchen sink. But we'll see what more they throw at us in part 46, where we, I believe, will meet the prosecutor. See you then. Yeah. See, ya. see you then. Mm-hmm.